This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. If this game were made today, it would be called Tactical Sniper Simulation, but on the Atari 2600, it was called Crossbow. Enjoy. If I'm gonna take my time with a crossbow to cover this guy, maybe he could run away from the bats, ants, and death scorpions a little faster. He's, he's, he's taking his time. Come on, let's go. One foot in front of the other, faster, it's called running. Level completed, all right, and you have me to thank for that because they certainly took their sweet ass time. Now let's choose our path through crossbow to certain death, or treasure, more likely certain death. Released in 1987, this is a competent and enjoyable Atari 2600 game. Originally, it was an arcade game with a light gun. According to the internet, I've never actually seen it. What you do is you move your little cursor around the screen using the Atari controller, or a Sega Genesis gamepad, which is what I'm using. And you shoot enemies like bats, icicles, lava bombs, and weird-ass monkeys throwing something at you that kills you. So it's bad. But the game is good, for the most part. It's a good 1987 Atari game. But it does play like a light gun game with a gamepad, and that's never a great thing. There's an impressive array of levels for the Atari 2600. Your little guy looks like a little guy running for his life. I'm sorry, walking slowly for his life. And the sound effects are decent as well. Apparently you're supposed to find your way to treasure, and I'm still not entirely sure how to do that, but I usually end up losing the game at the Death Swamp. In between each round, you shoot one of the colors, and there's a certain path that you can take to find treasure. The path I chose to take found doom. Yes! We have cleared the snow cave. And got an extra guy. Splendid. Now we're going to go to the uh, forest of doom. This level. Fun times on your Atari, right up until you get to the Forest of Doom or Death Swamp or whatever. This level is miserable because these monkeys throw these unidentified globs of something at you, which are hard to hit. And then you're attacked by a flower. To the palace. The castle level is tough too because you've got a bird that comes out and eats your eyeballs, and you've also got people shooting arrows at you. But it's, uh, it's not too bad compared to the Forest of Doom or Death Swamp. And after a few levels, I just ended up going in circles and racking up points and, and haven't found my way to treasure yet. I need treasure so I can buy more Atari games with it. There's eight different modes of gameplay, including some where you can shoot your own adventurer for walking so slowly. And there's some with an invisible cursor, which is nearly impossible. The game is hard enough as it is. And your adventurer, your friend, never thanks you for saving them. Also, I kept quoting Monty Python during this scene. Now, this was sent to the show by Gary in Ridgewood, New Jersey. I'll get you on the map in a second. Gary also sent the Atari 7800 version of the game, which I'll be reviewing soon. What I find most impressive about this is the complexity and variety of levels for an Atari 2600 game. It's really well done and worthy of belonging in your 2600 collection. Now for the official Classic Game Room shout out and thank you to Gary from Ridgewood, New Jersey. Jersey. Gary's also an excellent artist and always draws some awesome pictures on the boxes of games and Star Wars figures that he sends to the show, so thank you for the gunk, droid, and Crossbow! A fun game for your Atari 2600.